special agent with the FBI. Okay. I'm sorry, you what? I'm a special agent with the FBI. Okay. Okay. So your complaints with the FBI. Uh huh. Right? Yes. Can you tell me briefly uh -huh. what the deal is? Okay. Nine years ago, I stood up at a San Diego Board of Supervisors meeting and I said some inflammatory things. From that point on, the FBI has been. Hey, Mr. Anson, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you in person. Um, I'm here because basically I have nowhere to go. Sure. Um, and I know you filed the initial paperwork, but I also know that could take months. Um, when I talked to Austin in the Washington, D.C. office, he was, of all the Congress people I called, he was the staffer smart enough to say, hold on a second, and he turned on a recorder mm -hmm. to try to get part of my story. What I need to do is to give a full, if you guys have a video camera or somewhere to record it, I need to give my full story now. Agents have raped and tortured my daughter. Now here, she's here in Bakersfield. Not in Bakersfield, in California, though. Where? Uh, well, it's happened all over. It's happened. The, the actual rape happened in Lancaster. And I know why I did what I did last night when I was in Julian's van. He and I remember because my pants were half off, and uh, shit wasn't right. I told him no. So why the fuck is he doing that? How do you know it's an FBI agent that did that? Well, it may be a DEA agent. I don't know, but okay, whoever. But, but hang on. So you're already starting to, to shift because you're no, going I'm not there starting and you're to shift starting to because say, hang on. Okay. I don't want to get all confrontational here, but okay. but here's the deal. If you're going to tell me that it's all FBI, 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 uh -huh. and now when I ask you who it is, and you're going to say, well, maybe it's somebody else. Uh -huh. Maybe it's somebody else. How would I to? know? That's what I'm asking you. Okay. Why? Why well, do you think it's a DEA agent? Well. Let the law stand. Cannabis is medicine! Let the law stand! And I, I'm, I'm really proud of all of you for coming out here to show them that we mean business. If you declare war on us, it's your declaration. You are going to be surprised shitless when I do this right now. And you do what? I keep it all fucked up. What happened, Vicky? Somebody fucked me up. What happened? Vicky? The horrifying true story of seven hypnotists with way too much in common. I literally don't have a dollar left to my name. And at this point, you got to understand my position. If I commit an act of terrorism today, the story comes out. Well, I would suggest not committing it. Yeah, I don't want to. I refrained for nine fucking years, but no one will help me. Okay. So, please help me. Well, like I said, we'll do everything our office has in its power to do. Thanks. Victoria is not bipolar. She has multiple personality disorders. She has six personalities. And these guys manipulated, Mamas is the name of our dead cat. And they manipulated her to think she has a new personality called Mamas. And when they call her Mamas and she switches into that, she yells and screams and throws up for hours on end. Oh my God. Why? Because Jace did this to you, just like he did last time. Snap the fuck out of it! Whatever he said, make it stop! He said something to you on the phone, you've been sick ever since. He did this a year ago too, dude! I got it all on tape! You have to snap into the, another personality or it won't stop. I mean, we did a CT scan of rebellion and it looks okay, but the issue you think is that she's just under the influence of these people. I need to give my full story now. I mean, we don't have any cameras here, but I mean, I I do have all the information that you included on your blog and stuff like that. Yeah, so. I just, I don't know where to go. I have no money. I have no way to work. I, they don't even let me panhandle now. Now that, now the places that I go to panhandle, 
three other guys show up and stand between me and the other people and give me funny looks while they, I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm, I got nowhere to go. I got nothing to do. And the FBI right now, there's an agent trying to get my daughter pregnant again. And I mean, this, what can we do? I'm going to sleep here in the courtyard until you guys help me. Well, I mean, we're doing everything we can. All, all we can do is get an answer from the FBI. We can't change the outcome of the situation. We can't. Well, all... I, I don't expect the FBI to cooperate with you. My point is, is that there's only two options here. Either I'm crazy, and this is all in my head, or this is really happening. And if this is really happening, and if federal agents raped a disabled, a mentally disabled girl, solely to try to get her father to commit an act of terrorism. Try to realize the gravity of that. Sure, no, I understand, sir. And like I said, all we could do is get an answer from the FBI. So I'm gonna send this, your, your paperwork and the information you provided our office. just the FBI? Because I put on, I, I mean. You put the, DHS, I believe, as well, too. DEA, the D DEA. Okay. Because I'm, I, I'm sure the DEA is involved in this. I dealt with, I mean, I, the amount of stuff I dealt with when I was a, a medical cannabis activist which is what started all this, the DEA is definitely involved in this as well because they were intimately involved in all that went down in San Diego. So I, I mean, sending, I understand the process, but I also know that your boss could make a phone call and confirm that what I'm saying is true, confirm that there really is an investigation of me. And if you do that, then everything changes. Mm -hmm. Because try to realize just, now I grew up a Democrat, so what I'm about to say hurts me like on a political level but if what i'm saying is true and the obama justice department raped a disabled girl just to get her father to commit an act of terrorism try to imagine what politically what that will be for you guys i mean always what what democrats have always had over republicans is democrats are the nicer ones republicans are always meaner That'll never exist again if Republicans on in their campaign speeches can go out and say, Obama's Justice Department raped a dis mentally disabled girl to try to get her father to commit terrorism. They're not nice. There's nothing, I mean, that, is, that, that violates the Geneva Convention. It violates any term of decency. And what do I do? I mean, I understand you're gonna file paperwork, but what do I do? Right, I mean, like I said, that's all we can do is just to file this casework and get an answer from the FBI. I can follow up with them. We we allow all agencies thirty days to get back to us, and then we have then we can follow up via phone call to get it to see what the status of your case is. But it does take time. Right. We can only we can only work as fast as we can work, and we'll make sure that we get an answer from the FBI and see. What's so going so on. what 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 do you? I mean, all right, so their answer is either going to be yes, we're investigating, or no, we never heard of them, right? Those are basically going to be their two answers. So they admit they're investigating me and that this has gone on for nine years. Then what happened? I don't know, sir. I mean, I, I'm not, I've been trying to follow, like, to read up on your case. I'm not sure what they would have to say. I'd be curious to hear what they have to say <laughs> on this. True. But when we do hear, you'll be the first to hear, too, so. Is there a way we can get her to see someone even for mental health care? I mean, not just in the hospital, but going forward. I mean, they, well, they that would that would be great, but she's not going to do it based on me saying this. That's why, while she's in there, if you have someone who could put her under hypnosis and ask her what's going on, this will all come out. I and mean, this is a gang up. They didn't just hit. They yeah. drugged her with dust off. I have videotape footage of her being all drugged out on dust off, and they manipulate her personalities. You, I, why didn't you tell him no? I didn't tell him no at the time because I thought it was John. You didn't tell Johnny no because you thought it was John. Yeah, I didn't tell it. Johnny no because I thought it was John. They used this creepy image to terrify her and control her. It was sitting right next to the television and she was petrified of it. And what do I do until then? <laughs> I, mean, I spent my last five dollars on on a bus ticket to get to Bakersfield so I could come to this office so you guys could see that I'm a human being this is what I'm uh, this is my stuff I have to push it around because I've been fired for my last five jobs because they will not let me work and the last job uh, from Greenpeace it was obvious that the FBI had me fired because the 
the process by which I was fired could not have happened with Greenpeace by itself. But what do I do? I mean, I we have I could refer you to a job center. I could... <laughs> then not going. To, I got a job with Greenpeace. I did well. My boss fired me because the FBI told him to. Two weeks into my job. Okay. So going to get another job is not an option. They will not let me work. Have they. You, okay. Have you considered seeking free legal counsel? From. There's a Greater Legal Services local of Bakersfield. It's a Kern County uh, organization, and they could tell you if you have a case or not, and they could research and do the research for you. I guess that'd be a start. I know I reached out to the the um, ACLU four separate times and never heard back. I'd be happy to get either information. Uh, I guess that'd be a start. They provide free legal services. Change their walking distance. Small world, huh, man? What's up, boy? How you doing? Good. How you doing? Right. I want to talk to you about something. Right. Your hypnotist, your hypnotist training. What? You always used to talk about hypnosis. The redhead that started her on this fucking everybody hypnotize her and rape her whenever they feel like it path. You always used to talk about hypnosis. Are you? Wait a minute. Are you recalling this? It's a movie and some, some you know, crazy psychedelic trip that you were on sometime. That there was a little leprechaun in it. You know, there's a correlation there and you're figuring it all no, out. No, you own. talked in depth about... Uh, to you. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Man, At talking. your house, you talked in depth about knowing about putting people under hypnosis. That was followed by John and Johnny, who had similar names so Johnny could rape her when he convinced her that she that he was John, who she was dating. And my pants came down and Dick went in and I said, oh, John, thinking it was John. And it wasn't. By the time I figured this out was when I realized because he was going down on me and there were two teeth missing in the front of his fucking face. That was it. So you thought it was John who you were dating, but it was really it was John. Re I, yep, I thought it was John, and it was found out later it was Johnny. And even when I found out later, I confronted him later even too, and said, I can't believe that was you, dude. And you should have knew better because I said John, not Johnny. When we have the problem, I said, I'll give you your fucking money back. Go find the fucking place. You come in and said, can't let's stay. I'll find the place. I'll give your money back. By law, you can't do that. See? This is why I said I didn't want this talk. These people don't want to have a fucking talk. There is no talk. Yeah, I know. They just eat up all my food and all that shit. And Nobody's eating me, your fucking food. Nothing's a problem. Yeah, See, a you, lot John. of our food disappeared. Name it. Make a list. Okay. I'll go to the fucking no, grocery store. See, and you say one fucking thing, I'll knock you the fuck out. One thing about what? Johnny, Don't even fucking down, talk to me, dude. stupid. Don't I'm already see? at my wits end with you. Why? Hold on. Give, Give me one, one reason. reason. Give me one reason. Don't even clean your dishes. No, I didn't like to like no reason. Just give me a reason why I'm a problem for you. You gotta stop talking. No, I just want to know what his reason is. No, dude, you want to act violent and shit? I'll get the cops in here. I'm fucking sick of this shit. Tell me what I've done. I'd like to know so I can correct my behavior. No, no Grabbing behavior. my shit, taking you my wheelchair away, talking to us, or oh, you're touching my shit. Who grabbed my monitor without fucking permission? She said you said it was okay. How many we could fucking use things? Stuff. You Who's told me I could use that stuff. Care. I'm not going to do this, sir. I want to help you guys out. I wanted to not have this talk. Don't talk to me about nothing. Uh, that's what I was doing. You just got two weeks, and then you guys that's got That's what go. the plan was. Let's go back to the plan. See? Dude, I've been dealing with these fucking crackhead assholes and this weaker bitch. Oh! You, why didn't you tell him no? I didn't tell him no at the time because I thought it was John. You didn't tell Johnny no because you thought it was John. Yeah, I didn't tell it. Johnny no because I thought it was John. Okay. How long are you in the service? Two years only. Two years? When did you get out? I did my training, my AIT, and then I came back to the reserve unit. Some shit happened, I couldn't make a couple of my meetings, and my, when my unit got deployed, they had to let me go. Let you go? They just released you like? Yeah, because I wasn't, I wasn't re-qualified with my bayonet, yeah. and my rifle, and my grenades. Yeah. Then there's Dusty and Jace. <laughs> Stop it! Fuck, dude! Fuck! <laughs> what is wrong with you, dude?
I said, stop doing what you're doing. Stop doing that because it's gonna fucking have repercussions. When Jace needed a vacation, she switched from Victoria. Jace only called her Victoria. Baby, Victoria, stop. Hey, baby, Victoria. But Dusty only called her Vicky. What's up, man? What's going on? What's that? So she'd be all in love with Jace and then they'd switch her into Vicky and she'd hang out with Dusty, number four, for a week or two and then Jace would come back all refreshed and tanned from his vacation. I snap, I might have clapped. No, you snapped your fingers because, yes. That's as loud as I can snap. Yes. Right after she told you to stop snapping your fingers out. Because the three guys she was with before you, I all I caught them all putting her under hypnosis. Okay, well, I don't know hypnosis. But, um, well, then why did she I'm tell you? I'm a convict, bro. I don't read into books and I'm not into hypnosis like that. Well, this. then how did you put her under hypnosis? I didn't put her under hypnosis. I watched you do it. Okay, how'd you watch it if we were behind the curtain? You weren't behind the curtain. You were sitting, there was no curtain up then. You... That's what I'm asking you. Okay. Why, why well, do you think it's a DEA agent? Well, because of how much drugs they do, I would assume that some of them are DEA agents and the fact that I worked for a dispensary in San Diego that was run by the DEA. And I was set up to spend 20 years in jail until I walked away. Still in the game, so you huh? What's that? Still in the game? Uh, we got several prices. Hit in the game? I mean, uh, uh, I'm homeless. Medicated. Medicated. I'm homeless because the uh, feds have fired me for my last five jobs. The feds? Well, I don't know. Are you DEA or what? <laughs> no, I don't know anything about it. I was just small talk there, bud. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just came to talk to the doctor. Yeah. Quin Coincidentally, just walked in while I'm here. Randomly, just yeah. Coincidentally, walked in while you're here. <laughs> in the building that we used to work at. Yeah. Yeah. Curious, why did you promote me over all those other people? Uh, you seem like the right guy for the job. So then you expanded to three dispensaries and then put me up on a burner phone. So they all called me and then I called you on the burner phone. So when we got raided, it all would have looked like I ran the place. No. That's, That's the point of the burner sorry. phone, right? Everybody in the industry was using burner phones back in 2010. But not me. You had them call my personal phone, each of the three dispensaries I worked at. Your personal burner phone? No. They called my personal cell phone and then I called you guys on the burner phone. So all the dispensaries called my personal phone number. Yeah. And it looked like I was running all three and then I'd call on the burner phone. So if somebody was going to raid those dispensaries, all the phone records would have pointed to me. So I would have gone to jail for 20 years for you guys. Nobody was going to go to jail. I was, because I was the only one who worked there who wasn't a DEA agent. The stops were stealing our name. What's that? They were, our, they were in our name. Uh -huh. But you lived in Mexico. My brother lived here, I lived in Mexico. At the time, you both lived in Mexico. My brother never lived in Mexico. That's not what I thought. Obviously, I stepped into something here. I'm gonna yeah. take off. Now. Yeah. Man. Listen, I'll, I'll I'll talk to you later. Yeah, take care of yourself. I got history man. with this guy. Yeah, you sure do. I'm gonna go have lunch right now. Yeah. Call me when you when you guys are right. That's why I, I have, you know I need to talk to people before 11 o'clock when yeah. people start rolling. I, yeah, you said 11:30. I would have been here at 11. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we'll, I we'll, went up there. That one yeah. doctor. We'll talk. We'll talk. Right. Bye bye now. Good luck, sir. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Put your name, date of birth. So I know the DA has something to do with this, considering the whole thing started because I was a medical marijuana activist. Okay, okay. But now, the last five employers that have fired me fired me because somebody went to them with the national security letter and told them to fire me. Now, I don't know if it was the FBI. You have that letter? Are you retarded? I'm just asking. Okay, it's a national security letter. If they admitted to me that they fired me because the FBI told them to, they would go to jail. So I have no way of proving any of this. So I went to my congressman's office and tried to avail myself of my constitutional right to have them look into it. Now, I said something to try to get them to care a little more, and that obviously sent them to call you. So my question to Dee Brantley here is what what is the perimeter of where I'm allowed to be? If they're not allowing me on the property, I am legally allowed to be on the sidewalk in front of their property, correct? You are correct. Thank you. Right. That's where I will be. 
Okay, the only question that I have is, uh-huh. you have no uh, desire to do any type of act of terrorism, violence, or anything like that? If I had, I would have done it long ago. That's not what I asked. Okay. Are you right now, do you want to go commit some type of act of terrorism, violence, or anything like that? I do not, and I would like the FBI to stop trying to make me do that by raping and torturing I'm, my daughter. I'm right here, I'm not doing that. No, you're not, but okay, so, someone so raped talk. and tortured my daughter. Okay. And the reason they did that was so I would commit a terrorist act. Okay. okay. Today you now don't I feel refuse, like doing that? No, I never felt okay. like doing it. I want them to That's, fucking leave me alone. We will. And I want you all to realize that this is real, okay? This is a real thing that the FBI has tortured my family. She's mentally disabled and she was raped because they were trying to push me to commit a terrorist act. Okay? okay? That's what's going on here. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Well, we're great. As long as you're not doing anything today, anything here in Bakersfield, we're good. All right. Have we're a great day. Much. They provide free legal services. Change their walking distance? I'm not sure where. I literally don't have a dollar left to my name. And at this point, you got to understand my position. If I commit an act of terrorism today, the story comes out. I would suggest not committing it. Yeah, I don't want to. I refrained for nine fucking years, but no one will help me. Okay. So, please help me. Well, like I said, we'll do everything our office has in its power to do. Thanks. You made a phone call to Josh, and now we're fighting when we were just fine before. You make every you make you think everyone in my life and uh, that I meet as a friend of the cops so you create problems so what the fuck do I say what am I supposed to do dude honestly I I am to respect my friends you make problems you think he's a cop you think Julian's a cop yeah. I cannot multicast you talking he's talking all he's talking all the talking I just got, that kind of fucks in my head when I have to multicast but everybody's talking in my fucking ears he's talking you're talking and I'm like supposed to like get to know all the shit. It's kind of insane. I'm going insane, dude. No, you're, <laughs> you're not, sweetie. He's fucking with you. You're not imagining it. He's been fucking with you the whole time, sweetheart. Notice how great you were doing when you weren't seeing Julian. Look, I, I keep, I keep, I keep certain things with me. Make sure I'm okay. Okay. Like what? What do you have with you? Uh, like, uh. Right now, I've been holding on to this thing that looks like a, looks like it's a, for, for my protection. It looks like a little cat thing, and it's like tiny little brass knuckle thingies. Oh, good. But I don't want to ever have to use it. I just have it in case I ever was in a scary predicament. Yeah. I am worried. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I would like to be in Missouri and try to get my life right. I was there when I was in there, when I was out there with you, I got my weight back. Yeah. Things were okay. You yeah. were about to help me with surgery with my mouth. Yeah. Stuff like that. And I need that kind of shit because my mouth's all fucked up. Yeah. It's fucked up. Really fucked up now because you're talking in an accent. Yeah, and I, got a, and I got a huge lump on the back of my head. Don't even know why. You don't know how you got a lump on the back of your head? I got a huge ass lump on the back of my head. Don't even know why. Is that why you're talking in that weird accent? Maybe. I don't know. That might just be because I'm around. I don't know. I have had shit happen to me and have had no idea or regulation of what happened.
Thank you for your help. Yes, sir.